Okay, hi. This is an update to my YouTube instructions on um, the Super Drew Loop flower printing by turning the fans off. This is for people who have a maker bot because you can see here I first got clued into this when um, Twiny had posted that uh, she was trying to print it on her maker bot and was trying to follow my instructions and was hitting a bunch of dead ends. So, um, with the help of Math Girl, I have been able to get uh, a new process, an update to the process figured out. So first start by watching this video um, that I've already posted that talks about G-code modifications and follow all the directions up until about the 5 minute and 10 second line because everything that I talk about there about downloading the SCAD file figuring out which layer the Drew Loops begin printing and when we want to turn off the fans will all be really important to have before we switch over the slicing engine. The first video I did sliced with Cura, um, but this time I'm going to show you how to do the slicing using the MakerWare software, which will generate the proper code for your MakerBot. Um, MakerBot uses G-code quite differently than the rest of the um, whatever people out there that are running 3D printers probably because they're a proprietary system um, but they've got their own reasons so watch that video up until about five minutes ten seconds and then um, this is the video you're gonna want so I'm gonna um, first of all talk about rep wrap G code um, the original video shows how fan control is done with the M106 command um, and that allows you to uh, adjust the fan speed between values of 0 and 255. Um, what MakerBot uses does but does not use that they use um, 126 because they treat their fan as a valve so it's either on or off there's no control over the speed and so these are the codes we're going to be looking for later on when we start modifying the G code um, that we'll use to turn the fan off and on. So we'll just make a note that um, M126 is fan on or valve open. M127 is fan off or valve close in the MakerBot world. I'm using the MakerWare software because it currently has more features than the Maker Desktop, which is still in beta. That may change at a future date. So right now, first we're going to go and we're going to open the STL file that I talked about in the previous video. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Let's see if I do it this way. Okay, yeah, I didn't want my screen to get messed up. Okay, so there's the flower we had before. Um, this is the one where we already described how to calculate the layer that the drew loops start printing and know that that is actually um, layer 35. So to generate the G code that is using the correct um, information for the MakerBot products, we're going to first export this, and um, we're going to export it to a file. We're not going to send it to the printer, so make sure export to file selected. Make sure your printer is selected, the type of filament you're going to use. Now, um, Raft seemed to be turned on by default. I turned that off because I think the surface area of the tip of the flower touching the bed should be enough to secure the, the model to the bed. Um, I'm using the standard profile. And, and one thing I did change from default, if I click on default, I did change the fill back to zero. We don't need any fill. I did number of shells two, and the layer height needs to match the layer height you used when you calculated the um, height that you need to turn things off. So that was at point 2. So I'm going to export this. I don't want to export it as an X3G file just yet. That's the file that you use for SD card printing. I want to select G code. So I'm going to export this as G code. And um, then I'm going to switch over to, um, I'm going to use OpenOffice this time because OpenOffice um, makes a little some things a little bit easier and it's a great program and you don't have to pay a lot of money okay so here's this G code file that I just exported from the MakerWare software I'm gonna open that it's a text file I'm just gonna accept all those defaults and so here's the G code file now the first thing I want 
to draw attention to, which is different than the other video, is that in the uh, maker wears G code um, refers to the different slicing portions as not as layers but as chunks. So here you can see chunk one. That's the beginning layer for this model. And so I'm going to do a find and I'm going to search on chunk 35 because as was described before that's where we need to start turning the fan off. Now here is chunk 35. It has a semicolon at the beginning which means it is a comment so I can put whatever I want here and it's not going to hurt um, the, or confuse the machine. So I'm going to say Mark turns off fans just in case I ever need to look at this in the future. And now from this point on down I want to search from here down and I want to look for any time that there's an M26. Like here's an M27 turning the fan off. And if there's a code, if there's a call in the code that says turn off the fan, that's great. I don't mind about that. But if there's an M126, which means turn the fan back on, that's what I don't want to see from this point on down because this is where we're turning the fans off. So I'm going to hit find and here's a line of code that's turning the fan back on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace whenever I see M26 I'm going to replace it with semicolon M26. Um, and maybe just a note to myself, fan off mark. I like commenting stuff. It uh, helps me remember what I did. So then I'm going to say um, replace, replace, replace. And now you can see by the thing here, it's like basically going down through the file. Every time it finds that, it replaces it with this, which turns that whole line into a comment so that the, comp the machine will ignore that. And I'm just going to keep hitting replace as I go all the way down. I'm not going to use replace all because at the beginning of the print, as I talked about in the previous video, we do want the fans on at the start of the flower, but not at the end. Now it's telling me that it's reached the end of the document. And do I want to begin at the beginning? And I don't. So I'm going to say no. I only want to turn the fan off for the end part when the drew loops are printing, not at the beginning. So here you can see, here's one of my, you know, modified lines. I don't know if there's no one here, if it really matters, but basically we've turned the fan off now. Here's another one. The fan is now off because I've commented that line out. So now I'm going to do a save as and give this a different name. I'm going to call this um, flower fans off. And it's an X, this is a G code file, so I'm just going to change this now. And I'm going to tell it to save. And I don't want it to be in the open office format. I want it to stay as text, so I'm going to say keep the current format. And now I'm going to go back to my Makerware software. I'm going to delete that object. And to send my now modified G code to the printer, I'm going to use this option called make from file. Now the currently, like I said, the Maker desktop, Maker bot desktop, whatever, doesn't have this option for G code imports, but the Makerware still does. So I'm going to choose Make From File. I'm going to find my fan off G code that I just made. I'm going to open that. And then here, if I had a printer attached, I would be able to say, you know, print it right now. But I don't. So I'm going to export it from file and I'm going to use the SD card printing option. So I'm going to say Export. And this time, instead of G code, I'm going to use one of these two file formats. Um, this is the file format that you use to copy your G code to your SD card and then print from your SD card. Now since um, X3G is the newer version, I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select save. And that's going to combi compile that you know secret fancy binary thingy that MakerBot uses to print. Um, most other printers you just send the G code straight to the printer, but that's not how MakerBot has chosen to do their workflow. So now you've got um, in your folder, you should have uh, the X3G file that we just created that has the fans turning off at the proper layer. Copy this file to your SD card, put it in your MakerBot, and you should be all set. Um, I've had 
success verified by other users who have MakerBots, namely MathGirl, and I think that is the whole process. So happy printing and good luck.